This is the Friesemer countertop ice maker. Let's take it out of the box. So let me tell you a little bit about this first and then of course we'll test it out. This will produce up to 27 pounds of ice in 24 hours. So 27 pounds of ice per day. It makes nine cubes at a time. Each batch of nine is ready in eight minutes. There are two sizes of ice cubes that you can choose from, small and large. Small is going to be more suited to drinks. If you remember science class, if you have a lot more smaller cubes in there, there's a lot more surface area to cool the liquid in your glass, whatever that may be. Larger cubes are better for ice bags, if you're packing a cooler or anything like that, keeping seafood um, cold, uh, you know, things like that. This also has a self-cleaning function in it, which of course I will demonstrate to you as well. It has a 1.5 liter, which is approximately 1.6 quart water capacity, and it has water empty and ice full indicators. Let's take a closer look. Here's the ice machine itself. They give you a scoop with it over here, and you have your control panel, your power and clean buttons right here. Select button for the different sizes, so you could have your small or your large ice cubes, as you see right there. And there's a water empty light and an ice full light. Opening the top, if you look in the back, those metal tines that stick down, each of those will create one cube. This here is a shovel to scoop the ice out. What's going to happen when you turn it on is that's going to come up and it'll pump water into this cup kind of thing and it will freeze on those tines there. When it's time to harvest, the reversing valve for the refrigeration system will open, reverse the flow of refrigerant, and allow the ice cubes to come off of those tines where it falls down, and then the shovel will dump them right into here where the ice bucket is. The ice bucket comes out, as you see, and all of your ice will be stored in there. Down in here, not too much to see, but there is a drain hole. That, of course, is closed by this plug, as you see here, it goes in the hole, and there's a nice tether on it as well to prevent you from losing the plug. So let's get some water in here and we'll turn it on. Just take note of the max line and do not overfill. We're going to start with the clean mode. You just hold the button there for three seconds or so, and then something starts happening. And what's going to happen is the bucket and shovel will come up, and go back the machine will turn on for a moment and then turn off and then it's going to run the bucket and shovel back up fill it with water let it overflow and then drain Please pardon that my counter is not exactly level. That, of course, is a function of my kitchen. It just is. It's an old house. You see how it fills with water. And if you look down here, in just a few moments, we'll see some water coming down through there. There it is right now. So it's going to run this for a bit. And then it's going to run the bucket and shovel back and empty out. And then that cycle is going to repeat a number of times. See how it empties out now? And now it's going to come back up and do the same thing again about four or five more times, at which point the machine is back in standby mode. And then we'll start making some ice. Okay, we're ready to go, so we'll hit the power button. I'll hit select for the smaller cubes. Inside, you hear the machine starts up. This is pretty much all the noise it's going to make. And now it's going to fill with water once again and actually overflow a little bit until it's satisfied that the bucket is full.
and that's it. Now we wait, and in approximately eight minutes, we're going to get our first batch of ice cubes. Now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. You do not want to have a party, and when the first guests arrive, hit the button on here, and in eight minutes you'll have ice, because you're going to get nine cubes, and that's good for a drink. That's it. And then you got to wait another eight minutes for that. So you want to start this ahead of time. You're also going to find that the first few batches of cubes, the ice cubes are going to be diminutive in size, shall we say. It's going to take a while, three, four batches, maybe even five, depending on the weather and the day. Yes, that is a thing. For the ice cubes to become about the regular size. What's going to happen as this quote-unquote cooks here is it's going to make ice and the whole inside cavity of the unit is going to start getting colder and colder and colder. The colder it gets in there, the faster and better it works. It's still eight minutes each, you know, batch, but it's going to be working at its peak efficiency the colder it stays in there. In time, you're going to get this basket fill up here and it's going to sense that and it'll shut off. When you remove some ice from it, it'll turn back on and keep going until it runs out of water. And then you can add more water and keep going and keep making ice. So you do have to tend to it. In other words, it'll sit there, it'll fill up, it'll stop, that's all great, and then people can take whatever ice they want at whatever time and it'll keep going and it'll serve you through your entire dinner party or whatever it is. But again, it's still eight minutes per batch. So you do want to start it ahead of time and let this thing pretty much go until it fills up. So if you're doing a Thanksgiving for your immediate family or something like that, you'd want to start this up sometime, depending on what time you're going to eat, maybe around noon, 2, 3 o'clock, depending, and let this go for a couple of hours so there's going to be plenty in there to serve for the first round of drinks, if you will, if you're into that stuff. Uh, or you might want it for water, soda, juice, etc. So we're going to just let this go, and when it goes to harvest the first batch, I will show you. We are now harvesting our first batch of ice. The bucket and shovel come up and it scoops that into the bin. Now you can use the scoop. This is my house. It's just me. Here is your first ice cube. They're bullet shaped. This is actually decent but they are going to get thicker and better as time goes on. If you want to speed the process of waiting for it to start making you know, full-size cubes in whatever size that you want. Start with the coldest water that you have available. If your refrigerator has cold water through the door, fill it with that. Not to mention, it's also going to be filtered that way. So this is now making its next batch of ice. This is not a refrigerated compartment. So leaving this open is not a good idea. You want to close it so of course nothing falls in there, gets in there. What's going to happen is as more and more ice gets in there, it sort of refrigerates itself and the whole thing starts working more and more efficiently in a few more batches. I have some things to do so I'm going to go and do that and we'll come back sometime later to see the bounty of ice. It's been about an hour's time now so we'll open this up. And now you can see what a fully formed cube looks like. Certainly a lot more filled out, so to speak, than what we originally had. Here's one of the earlier ones here you can see is not as big. But otherwise it seems to be doing just fine. I want to also show you the difference in the small and the large cubes. So what I'm going to do is get a little uh, dish here, if I can. And um, I will take a few of the small cubes out 
store them in my kitchen freezer. Like that. And I'll put those in the freezer and I'll switch it now over to the large mode. Now it's on large. And after some time, I'll come back and show you what the large cubes look like. Some time has now passed on the large setting. And they are indeed considerably thicker and more filled out. I'm now going to get out the smaller cubes that I've left in my kitchen freezer. And now you can see the difference in the small cubes on the left and the large cubes here. A question you may have is, can I leave this ice machine running 24 hours a day? The answer is yes, you can. I find that to be kind of a waste of energy while you're sleeping. Uh, I don't really know of too many people who need ice the instant that they wake up. And if you're willing to wait for, you know, a short period of time, maybe 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. Maybe you want to do your morning ritual, turn this on first, and take a shower or something. Maybe you put your morning coffee on or anything like that. Ah, watch what's going to happen here. There is an ice cube that is blocking the sensor, so soon enough it's going to shut off. There we are, right there. So yes, you can leave this to run 24 hours a day. When it gets filled with ice like that, it's going to just sit there. Now, like I said, it's not refrigerated in there. The ice itself kind of keeps everything cold. As you take ice, I'll just move it out of the way, out of the path of the sensor, which is right there. Soon, it's going to realize that, and it's going to go ahead and refill. There it goes right there. But the machine actually is not going to start up instantly right now because it knows it was just running and being that it has a real uh, compressor in it you can't hot restart them so it's going to be a couple of minutes before it'll start back up and start making the next batch of ice which is actually a feature so it doesn't burn out the compressor so yes you can leave this run 24 hours a day uh, what you're going to want though is to clean this every once in a while. Maybe once a week or so you can use the self-clean feature or you can get in there with a sponge or anything like that. Another question you may have, can you store the ice? Yes you can. Absolutely you can store it. My recommendation is to get one of those zip top bags, those freezer type bags, and put the ice in there. Now you'll notice that they're kind of shiny and they're shiny because they are wet and they are wet because they are melting. When you put ice that is melting in a bag, you have bought bags of ice at the store, it sticks together. That's just the nature of it. It's going to happen. You can take that zip top bag, hold that zipper closed, and bang it on the counter a few times, and the ice will break up just like you would do if you bought ice at the store same kind of idea. The ice will keep in your freezer, no problem, and that way you can have it on hand and then run this when your ice supply is getting low. Once again, this was the Freezemer Countertop Ice Maker. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.